We better hurry. There may be others around. Now, I'm going to get some of that stew first. Sydney, better grab something to eat. Maybe a long time till our next feast. You better eat something. How's the stew, Mac? Kind of cold, but cold stew's all right. Cold stew on a blazing island. We've just made a perfect definition of war, Mac. Gosh, ducky. Of course, a blazing island with a tempest of gunfire around it that fans the blaze. Perhaps if we could... Grab those guns and let's get going. Well, why did you have to shoot? Forget it. Let's move. We spend our lives running our fingers down the lists in directories, looking for our real names, our permanent addresses. No man is an island. Perhaps that was true a long time ago, before the Ice Age. The glaciers have melted away, and now we're all islands. Parts of a world made of islands only. Hey, how long are you going to hang around here? We're in a fine mess now. Uh, I'd give anything to trade places with that dog we chased yesterday. <laughs> Seems like whenever people get in a hole, they begin to get jealous of dogs. I admit that our prospects aren't very cheerful. But how about going back to see if our raft is still there? Look, if we were spotted, they'll have a trap waiting for us when we show up. Well, it's a chance. But trying to walk out is as risky today as it was yesterday. We'll scout around the river and make certain. Then what? Even if we find the raft there, even if none of them are laying for us, then what? Then we'll have to sit tight until it gets dark and hope that we don't have a full moon. We can sing old songs if we get restless waiting. Which man? Which man is Snookums? I heard that they're cannibals. So even if we get caught, you're pretty oh. safe. Leave me alone. We may be in the woods, McClellan, but let's try to remain civilized. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right, Lieutenant. Anyway, there won't be many days left to be civilized in. We stick around these woods much longer.
Don't be afraid. We're not going to hurt you. She's quite nice. Don't you think so, boys? Hmm. Well, what are we supposed to do with her now? I've got a wife at home. <laughs> I'm afraid she's become our uninvited guest. I must say I've had worse guests at better parties. All right, Carby. All right. Let's not forget where we are. Even though we're lost in the woods, let's try to remain civilized. Well, we can't stay here. Can we leave a fish here? Something funny. What are you going to do with it, Lieutenant? Give me your belt. You too, Fletcher. Please don't beat her. She's just scared like we are. She doesn't even talk. Get a grip on yourself. No one's going to punish her. I simply want to tie her up. Now, give me your belt. Let's hurry it up. My arm's getting tired. Be careful not to hurt her. She doesn't start screaming. She's a pretty little thing. Why don't we just leave her here and get going? Don't rush me. If we can make her understand this, perhaps she can tell us whether they found the raft. Habla Espanol? I'll handle this, Sidney. I'm quite sure she wasn't educated abroad. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you? Sea, boat, our, boat. Ball? Yes, that's it. Boat. You, sea, boat? Don't tell me she doesn't even understand you. If she can't tell us anything, let's let her go. Sure, so she can run downstream to that command post and tip our hand. You kids and your ideas. Maybe she was going there in the first place. With the face, you mean? Sure. A general gets what he wants for dinner, no matter what. If it's fish caught or fresh strawberries or gold plates... This is hardly the time to become a revolutionary. We ought to continue to see about the rat. But we can't let her go yet. Why? What'd she do to us? If she could understand, she would have told you. I already told you why. Sidney, you'll stay here with the young lady until we come back. Here, take this. You're going to leave me here? Yes. I told you to watch the girl. You're going to make me stay in and not come back. I know because of yesterday. Keep calm, kid. If we're not back by night, just get in touch with the old man about a wedding. Maybe you can settle down in a treehouse and raise some monkeys. <laughs> Leave him alone, Mac. Don't listen to him. Remember, you promised to come back, Fletcher. I want you to stay here and keep an eye on her because she may prove very useful if the raft has been discovered. Hmm. We ought to be back in a couple of hours. Now, just relax. 
Don't get panicky. See you later, Sidney. Mm -hmm. 